Hey y'all, I'm Wes Hodges with Wes Hodges Fly Fishing and Bird Hunting. And I'm here in my local Orvis store, and I'm here to talk to you about the real equipment that you need to be looking at purchasing when you're going on a fishing trip with us. This is from a guide's perspective on equipment that is tested and works and stuff that we use day in and day out. So right now I'm gonna talk about fly rods that you're gonna to need to be considering when you're going out on trips with us. The new Helios and the Orvis Recon. So the Helios rod, what is special about this is without a shadow of a doubt, this is the best rod that we have ever casted with my guide team. It is as accurate as they say, it is as strong as they say, and it's gonna last you for the rest of your life, especially with the Orvis warranty. Now in this rod here, you're looking at your five weight, six weight, and seven weight for our freshwater fishing. Okay, you're looking for a good value rod to have. The Orvis Recon is absolutely an incredible purchase. It's a mid-range value rod. This is what most of my guide team are using day in and day out for all of our freshwater pursuits, the Orvis Recon. And that is kind of how we look at the rod setups that we're, we're picking when you guys come on trips with us. So if you're buying, like for example, the Recon rod, that's the one you choose, okay? Orvis has set it up and designed it so that the Hydros reel, the Hydros, is the perfect balance to that casting rod, okay? When you're talking casting all day long for these smallmouth and these trout we're going after, that's a lot of casting strokes. So you want that rod to be perfectly balanced, okay? With the Helios, we're talking the Mirage. My guides and I are using three different lines. We're using sinking lines, we're using floating lines, and we're using our trout-specific floating lines, okay? The Orvis Pro lines are absolutely incredible. They're matched perfectly with the rod that you're purchasing. This is kind of an all-around fly line that we like to use a lot. This is the Scientific Angler Grand Slam. If you're gonna buy a line for freshwater, smallmouth, and or saltwater, that's the one to go with. Now that you've finished your rod selection, reel selection, and line selection, you need to make sure that you finish it off with the proper leader, okay? Depending upon the time of the year and the targeted species, as well as the flies that you'll be using, okay, your, your leader is a very important part to that. You know, this right here is a fluorocarbon leader. This is great for streamers, as well as things below the surface. This is the nylon leader in red here. This is for your topwater fishing, throwing your frog patterns, your dry flies, uh, anything like that. Make sure you talk to your Orvis fly fishing manager or their associates there and they'll help you pick out the specific leaders and tippet that you need for that trip and or species you're going after. Can't catch fish without flies. Just come into the Orvis store. They will help you select the fly specific for your trip. Again, if it's trout, they'll point you in the right direction. If it's smallmouth, same thing. If it's saltwater, they will point you in the right direction and they will pick out the flies that you need to be purchasing for your trip. So in talking about gear storage and bags, okay, this is one that we highly recommend you bring with you on the water. For day trips, multiple day trips, anywhere across the world, this is an incredible bag for you to bring. It is 100% waterproof, okay? It stores everything you need in it for a day's trip or even multiple days on the water. Okay, and talking waders, there's two different approaches to going to the waders. You have your pro guide series here. This is what my guides wear day in and day out. But however, in the summertime when it's really hot outside, they switch over to the, the ultralight waiter. Waders aren't worth anything without their boots. And this is the best pair of boots that we know of right now. This is the Orvis Pro Guide wading boot. They're incredibly lightweight. The sole is incredibly cushiony. Okay, I mean, you can walk all day in these boots. And this right here, the traction on these bad boys, it's no slip. They really are that good. Clothing nowadays is designed to help protect you while you're on the water, especially in the summertime. My number one preferred shirt that I wear and my guide team wears is, number one, is their Tech Chambray Western shirt. I highly recommend the River Guide shirt. Again, this is one of the shirts that my guide team prefer to wear day in and day out. This is the new Drycast shirt. This thing is UPF 50 and it is incredible to wear. These are the Jackson Crick Dry Pants. Incredibly comfortable, okay? You can fish in them all day long. They dry super fast if you get out of the water and do wet wading. Highly recommend these pants. The last piece of equipment you need to consider is your sunglasses. So make sure when you're doing this, you get polarized glasses. That's gonna help cut down the refraction off the water so you can kind of see in the water with what your guide is talking about. So make sure you get full wrap fishing glasses. These right here are currently Smith. They sell these inside the store. 
Um, they're incredibly comfortable and lightweight. You can wear them all day long. They won't hurt the bridge of your nose. It's a guide favorite of mine as well. I hope that helps you out and gives you a better understanding of what equipment you really need to be looking at purchasing when going on a trip with us, or any trip for that matter, you know, associated with the Orvis store. From flies to leaders to rods and clothing, they can get you set up and get you on your way to having success.